not my pranks to gangsters, it's me, Fox Girl RPGM. Today we are going to be looking at new furry fandom species that I am creating. The Avonine! And my OC is an Avonine too! Yeah! Yeah, I probably mentioned Avonine in some of the past previous videos. So without further ado, let's go! So, Avonines are canine and bird hybrids. And as you can see in the how to make one, it's a breed of canine and a bird. Their hybrids consist of a canine, bird, and another bird, and an animal hybrid. And habitat, it depends due to the amount of the combination possible. Look at a lot of canines and birds out there in this world even. Big ones like the Phoenix. It is an open species for all the furry fandom to use. Oh wow. Yeah, I like calling oh wow. Yeah, oh wow is furry. Oh wow, life for oh wow furry. So yeah, you basically get the point. Oh wow is for furries. And everyone can use the, a look for your uh, Avonine. And I'll be getting onto the rules. Now, rules to make your own OC and or a new look of one. So after we do, let's go. Number one, no horns. I don't think any bird of canines are horns, so don't use them. Unless any morphological morphological birds or canines are horns. Oh, well, you, I guess you can use them for your OC. I'll be fine with that. Yeah, I'll be fine with that. Number two, more for bird features and canine features. Name avian is a combo of avian and canine with avian being first. This means the bird, it has more bird features than the fluffy canines do. When designing your character, watch out. Uh, number three, mythical birds or canines are out. Even griffins or devil dogs or whatever they're called, I know that Sturvius is a notable member of their species, are allowed for your hybrid. And let me tell you the three types of designing your OC and look. Yeah, those are two examples. Take one. This one has a canine head with bird ears. They're not visible. Yeah, all bird ears are like literally holes in their head. Instead of Canine with foxes and wings for arms and a bird tail and ca no 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 bird legs. It has a bird head and canine ears, canine arms, wings on its back. And by the way, I'm type two. Canine tail and bird tail feathers and the end of bird legs. Um, I'm type two and I was just talking about that one. Type three. It has the same bird head with canine ears as type two. It has bird wings that are fused with its canine arms and has a bird tail and bird legs. Yeah, so that's all for me. I just think put the wink in my little face there because I thought it would be funny and I just used some clever combinations to create three types of avenines. Put in the comments on which watch they should be called and let's move on to some information about Fox Galar Avenine. So Fox Galar Avonine is, well, she's an Avonine, she's a red fox hybrid Galar, and it's an Australian cockatoo, and Phoenix hybrid. She has beautiful wings, a tail, and Phoenix feathers at the end, and she's got a skirt to make her look sexier, and she's got V markings to make her look sexier too. And she's got that white marking so she looks more foxy. And she's got foxy ears. Yeah, that makes her look more foxy. And she has a bow at the back of her head. And by the way, that bow appears to be her emblem. Yeah, like a Mario emblem. Yeah, I'm interested in Mario stuff. Yeah, I play New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And let's get into more detail on that character. shape marking on her back, the length of a white marking, you can't see it but 
It's that. So it's Wings capable of taking off. Brian capable of talking this is and the heartbeat capable of talking. Yeah, obviously she's a fairy. Large Foxy is capable of caring better than a human. Wow. Oh yeah, that's obvious as well. Tail can still control her in the air. Psychodactyl toes act with an extra pair of her Now let's move on to our protogen form. Yay, with the uh, protogen form. And it's not amazing, man. The visor allows long range vision. Hearing two times better due to two sets of ears. Wow. And she has mustache because she supports the PGN and Starship markings. And fun fact, her mouth is open right now. If her mouth was closed, it would look super thin, but it's thick. And her mustache gives her high amounts of power. Perfect for destroying any hater. Holographic wings can send out energy at waves. Another screen at the back, as well as the fire marking. And by each screen shows a star like Pinfall. Yeah, he's a PGN Wonder Star. Ha! Ah, that's a punk his, his upcoming show has a, that make believe word in it. A PGN logo in the heart. Ah, that means I love PGN. Yeah, I've said that in lots of my videos. And now it's time for her backstory. And by the way, the only ghost that she can send through her wings are super powerful and can kill any. Oh, I forgot about one. Holes in the hands can make a variety of elemental attacks, like it can cover water, fire, electricity, glass, you get all that stuff, steel, psychic. Oh, yeah, she's already psychic, fairy, blah blah blah. She's already that. Blah, yeah, ether, blah blah blah, whatever. Elements are in that thing. Yeah, she can cover with those attacks. And let's get on to her backstory. She was a punk pink red fox fairy. Yeah, but it seems confusing. The red is not part of her color, it's her species. She was a pink red fox furry. Yeah. Yeah, she was a red fox who was pink. Yeah, confusing, right? After listening to, to some MLG music, she became one of lots of 897 species. And le after listening to more, she had a protogen form with Mustang on it. Now she protects the PGN. Yeah, we've got the perfect protogen or 89 to protect that PGN. So that's all for me. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Until next time. Goodbye everyone who's a furry fan!